Tom getting set to take on the Rockford Ice Hogs here tonight. Uh, but let's start with your previous timeout, uh, a big 5-4 shootout win in Milwaukee in that early game. What did you see from your club in the win? I liked their game a lot. Um, we've really been emphasizing trying to play a full 60-minute game, um, not have any let-ups and, and giving them the chances. And I thought that was definitely our most complete game. Um, like I guess I, I, liked, I liked what we did in that game and um, finally got in that win column again. Yeah, it was a bit of a weight off the shoulders maybe for everyone to finally break through and get that offense rolling. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're just gripping our, gripping our sticks a little too tight when things aren't going your way. So uh, we stuck to the process um, and now, uh, now get some pucks in the back of the net. Can it be tough to kind of stick to that process sometimes when, when a lot of what you're doing on the ice is the right thing, but you're not necessarily getting the results? Yeah, exactly. It can, uh, it can definitely get frustrating. Um, but you try and keep that out as much as you can and, and just keep grinding away and, like I said, trust the process. And I think for the most part, we've done a good job about that. And um, now we're getting the rewards. Yeah, it's a pretty young team still, even after uh, some of these young guys from last season are into their second season. So what role do you, yourself and other veterans play in helping them kind of stick to their guns? Yeah, just uh, keep saying it, but trust the process. Um, stick to what you know. Uh, stick to our systems, don't stray away from that, and um, just keep grinding. Uh, when things aren't going your way, just try and get more pucks and bodies to the net, and uh, it takes greasy ones sometimes. Looking at the special teams last time out, uh, those got rolling as well. Penalty kill goes five for five, power play scores twice, including your goal, so what started to click in that regard? Yeah, I mean, Special teams are so, so huge uh, in these games and play such a pivotal role in, in the outcome. So it was good to, to get those kills and finally get on the board on the power play. Um, we've been working it well. We've been, we've been getting our chances, just things weren't going in and finally got, got the breaks we needed. Elias Salomonson goes out, puts up two goals and an assist. What's it like to see a guy that's kind of having that kind of night, and especially for a young guy like him? Yeah, it's awesome. You always you always love when guys get rewarded like that. Uh, it's always fun when, when a defenseman's on Hattie watch as well. So uh, happy for him and um, hopefully he can keep things rolling. Yeah, what's it do for the club? I mean, last season you had Kyle Capobianco who was really running things offensively. Elias does it very differently, but when you have defensemen who can kind of generate that offense, what's it do for the forwards? Oh, it's huge. Um, I mean, it starts back with the defensemen and, and them getting the puck up and, and letting us go play offense and, and then us um, getting it back to them and, and letting them take those shots. So uh, you got to work together. And uh, when you have that, that offense coming from, from the D, it, it helps us out a lot. I was talking with Simon Lundmark earlier in the week about this, but it's kind of a cliche it gets tossed around like that first pass. But it is one of the most important facets of the game, isn't it? Especially when you guys are looking to build speed through the neutral zone. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you're looking to get that puck and, and go play in the offensive zone or like that first pass for, for the breakouts. Um, can be the difference of you going down the other zone or you, you're getting stuck in your zone for a little bit. So, yeah, that uh, it's a big, big first pass. And then a, a new addition to the forward group in Jared Anderson Dolan this week. I mean, what has he brought to your team? It's only been a couple of games, but uh, what have you seen that, that he adds to that top six? Yeah, he brings a lot. Uh, heck of a player. Um, kind of do it all you know he's uh, he's always in the right spots uh, works extremely hard can see the plays well um, can put the puck in the back of the net and just a good 200 foot player so yeah brings it all you got a couple of games left here Rockford Chicago I mean obviously you need to pick up wins that's that's the goal but uh, how important is it to finish this road trip strong and leading into a big homestand yeah it's massive I mean uh, not the start start we're looking for with the wins and losses but um, yeah we got to try and string string some wins together here start building some points and um, try and get out of the bottom there the standings